Good morning, Mr. Rooster. That is our morning wake up call and I would zoom in, but there's people at the, at the cabin over there, but he is right there by the cabin. And as we showed you, there's a whole bunch of birds over there, be it ducks and rooster. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, I have my headphones in. I was working. 831 Saturday the 15th of May, 68 degrees outside. Oh, I can show you. He went under the fence there. Oh no, there he is. He's by the tree over here. He's behind the tree. Look at her run. Or him. I don't know if that's the rooster. I didn't know. I don't know. I don't I don't know how to identify chicken rooster. All I know is I need a rooster and a hen. So it's a beautiful, sunshiny morning here. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous day. We're going to go live this afternoon. <laughs> We're going to go live this afternoon and uh, have a fabulous day. I think we're just going to chill out at the camper today. Oh, what are you? Oh, you're a moth. Okay. Just gonna chill out at the camper today and have a great day, nice and relaxed. We were gonna go bike riding, but I, we've looked. There's no place close. The internet is terrible here. It is not good internet. <laughs> and our cell service is like not great either. So that's all right. Oh, and by the way, I tried out the tankless water heater last night. Fabulous, fabulous not having to worry about the water. You do have to remember to open your gray tank though so that you don't accidentally fill it <laughs> and then overfill it. And I had eggs and bacon for breakfast this morning and uh, set the smoke alarm off 97 times. It was interesting because I didn't want to get the black stone out. So yeah, <laughs> that's all right. Now I have to go clean up a whole bunch of bacon grease. <laughs> all righty, yeah. What are these, you guys? What are these birds? Turkeys? That's not a turkey, is it? I don't know what it is. Yeah, they're like, see ya. You weird human, leave us alone. <laughs> wait, guys, wait for me, wait for me. Under the, <laughs> under the barbed wire. Bar bar bar. <laughs> All right, we're on a quest to find a chicken. Oh, do we? Oh, we do, look at there. Off in the distance are kayakers coming down the river. And we're gonna go down this incredibly steep, seriously. <laughs> nice breeze. It is very breezy. <laughs> Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. He doesn't know that one. <laughs> so they're going to come tubing this morning. They have, um, you can pay $15 and it is a guided. Did he say self guided or did he say guided? I'm not sure, but they take you up river and you basically end up here. And then yeah. Pull yourself up the driveway. Right. So they take you to a spot up there somewhere and the their shuttle and uh yes you end up here and you get out and as we were discussing yesterday we didn't know what this rope was for that's what it's for it's to pull you up this um very steep embankment here so that you can get out of the water so you can see the water moves i mean it's not a it's not a slow current i would hate to have to paddle upstream against it so <laughs> so explain that statement, honey. <laughs> well, no, he was talking about, you know, when you're tubing, a lot of people float with the cooler and then they uh, 
have a few adult beverages while they're tubing, gets around the water for two, three, four hours. And he was talking about uh, people having a few drinks and then trying to get up this ramp. And, yeah. And the difficulty those people face. Yes. <laughs> He says, hence the rope. <laughs> they actually had to put the rope in there to help the... Inebriated. Party people in the house. Yes. I mean, that's a swift moving current. That's what I said. I, I felt like it was it was moving. I didn't want to have to go up against it, you know, the opposite. Did it? I saw something a minute ago, but I didn't... Oh, there's a little turtle head right here. He's He's coming. He is D. He's channeling his inner D. Paro DJ, you guys, in case you don't know what I'm referencing. So I'm sure those people over there on their kayaks don't want to be on YouTube. So let me turn the camera away from those poor people. So It's so pretty. All right, here is the trailer with the inner tubes in it. And there is the van that takes you where you want to go. Uh, takes you up to the spot where you're tubing. So there it is. That's where we are. Okay, well, you guys know us. <laughs> we can't sit still. So um, this is the entrance road that we have taken. I've already shown you that footage, probably in the last vlog, um, where we come in to the RV park and we're just taking a walk. The cows are on this road, the deer are on this road, and um, their little pastures or paddocks or whatever are along this way and uh, just sort of getting out, walking a little bit and exploring. So, yeah. You guys, this one walked towards the fence. Towards it, both of them did. You think they're gonna let me pet them? I know they're not my cows, but oh dear God, I want to pet them. I don't wanna scare you away, Angel. Hi. Oh, why do you remind me of Big Mama? You do. I guess that's probably why at this moment I really want to hug you. Oh. Yeah, you're so beautiful. All right, I'm sorry. I'm going. I'm going. You enjoy your breakfast. I'm going. Oh. All right, the deer are way out there. See if I can get it to focus on the deer, not the fence. There we go. I don't know. Can't tell if it's blurry or not. I don't think it is, but there we go. There are a whole bunch of them. We're very far from them, but donkeys. Let me try to be very still. Oh, I love those ears. Babies. Hey, you guys. All right, well, this vlog has really the second day. Sorry. <laughs> Let me turn not been eventful it is now raining it's not raining a lot but it's raining enough that we think the fair has been canceled for this afternoon we just did the live it went really well um i will link that right up here for you in case you you missed it so what i'm doing now is i am going to cook dinner well no los cobos los co las cabas whatever restaurant is cooking dinner um, I went to the store yesterday. I grabbed a little Topo Chico. You saw, we went to H-E-B. Now, the other day I was watching someone and she showed these corn tortillas on her, on her video. And these don't have all the weird stuff in them that normal corn tortillas have in them. So I'm gonna try them. We'll see, it may make me sneeze and act crazy, not act crazy, but may make me sneeze and feel terrible, feel crazy. Um, we'll see, um, 
I did order them and if I can, I'll leave them linked for you. Yeah, it's a la madre. So anyway, these are three net carbs each. Even still, that's it's more the fact that the only ingredients are white corn cooked with lime, water, so sodium, propionate, cellulose gum, puric acid, sorbic acid, that kind of thing. So it doesn't have a bunch of weird stuff in it. So I'm hoping maybe it can eat these. I don't know, but I'm gonna fry them up real quick. Uh, Rob went to get some Mexican food. Uh, I just got taco salad, um, which I love with fajitas. I love that. It'll have pico and guacamole and sour cream and uh, queso and cheese and lettuce and fajita meat. It will be delicious. And I will fry up these tortillas and I will have some chips to eat it with. If they start to make me feel bad, then I will just use a fork and eat with a fork. So I'll be okay. He just has to make sure that the queso is gluten free. If it's not, he'll just tell him no queso. So no big deal. All right, I will see you in a second. Since I don't have a thermometer here to check the temperature of the oil, there is a little trick that you can do that I learned a long, long time ago. You take a wooden handle and you dip it in the oil and if it sizzles around the wooden handle, you can bet it's pretty much at a good temperature. Um, but I do need to get a thermometer here in the camper. It's something I've needed and I keep putting on the list and I keep forgetting. I love the one that I have at home. I will link it for you. Not only is it digital, an instant, but it also has the measurements, like the, t the suggested temperature for things on the thermometer, which is very convenient. All right, so I'm letting this oil come up to temperature, then we're gonna fry everything, and uh, then we're gonna feast. You can also see a little bit of a ripple in the oil, but you see how it sizzles? So that means it's ready. See you when we're done. Open the door because it kept setting the smoke alarm off. So I've got it on, it's cooling now. It took me like five minutes. Here they are. They look amazing. They look amazing. So, um, it, you know, if you are keto for the carbs, this will be nine grams of net carbs, correct? Let me see. I think it's three net carbs per tortilla. So you can see that I can't, but um, there's the nutrition and here is the label. So um, yeah, three net carbs per tortilla and there are three tortillas here. So that's nine net carbs, and I'm going to be having pico de gallo, and avocado, um, and fajita meat. So, you know, and like I said, I am, I am low carb. I am keto because of allergy, food allergies and food sensitivities, one of which is corn. So this is risky for me trying this, but I'm gonna try it anyway, because if I can actually eat this with either a very mild or a, you know, no reaction, I'm not, I'm hoping for that, that's not gonna happen, then it'll be nice. But, um, you know, there have been times where I've had like certain types of corn and I haven't had a problem. So I'm just seeing if this is one of those types of corn. You never know. All right, I will see you at dinner. Here's dinner. Rob got an enchilada and a, that's a... Queso puff. Queso puff, that's it. That was a taco. Oh, <laughs> and then here's mine. The queso is not gluten-free, so that's perfectly fine. I'm very excited. And here are my chips. So we are going to feast tonight. Yum. We have to come see the water at night. It's very breezy. It's very chilly for me. <laughs> we never saw them go tubing today. We watched and watched. Nobody ever came down. I think it must just be too cool. Yet, yeah. still, I don't know. Good morning. The water's a little higher this morning because it rained last night. 
So we got about a half an inch of rain last night. Rob caught us some footage this morning, so I'll insert that here. Time to go home. The fair was rained out last night, so. Anyway, so this last day vlog has been a little uneventful. Good morning, Waldo. Yes, good morning. How are you, cutie patootie? Yeah. Good morning, handsome. Oh my goodness, look you guys. Look at all of them. Geese, the chickens. Good morning, babies. Well, aren't you beautiful? Hi. Hi. Oh my goodness. Well, I couldn't have... Is that so? I could not have asked for a better send off. Oh my goodness, they're like not running away. You're so beautiful, good morning. The thunder is rolling. It just, big, huge, long thunder. We're under thunderstorm warnings and watches and flood warnings. We are hooking up the camper as quickly as we can. Every time, you guys. Every time. 